So today I wanted I want to show you a way of displaying some of your small agate finds and then at the end of the video too we just took a short jaunt down to the Willamette River and found just a few agates and I thought that I would show that as well. So I made this agate light about oh I don't know 10 years ago and it's been a great night light. Um, it's so simple. So the best way to find these like um, a thrift store. You could get round if you want. I'll show you the center. So what you do is just find a vase that's smaller than your big one, small enough to get rocks around, um, and stick your Christmas lights down inside. So this happens to be because I use it as a night light. Um, it's an electric one because if you did the batteries, then you know you're gonna be going through batteries like crazy. Um, but anyway, the probably the most important thing is just try to get the same height in your vases, um, so that because you don't want it sticking up too high, uh, where it's showing your your lights in there. And if it's too low, your agates are going to cave in on, which is okay until you want to go to change out your light strand. So it's easier if you can get the same height. They're kind of hard to find sometimes, but um, well, these are actually pretty easy. The big ones, almost any thrift store has them. Um, and then I believe, I think my center I actually found at the dollar store. And like I said, round would have worked. You could even put round in the square. Um, whatever just gives you some room to put the agates around there. Um, now I'm going to try something that I haven't done yet and a whole different um, style of light. So this next one that I'm going to try, I'm going to uh, repurpose. We made these uh, log candles out of juniper. And then these are just the battery operated lights. And you can put tea lights in there. The only thing I would suggest, we used to make these a lot, is that you make your hole bigger, put the glass votive in there, and then put your tea light in there if you're gonna use real candles. Um, because the flame can get close to the wood on this, so you'd wanna be really careful about that. This is sitting on a myrtle wood tray. I'm gonna take the wreath off and I'm going to see what will happen if I do, you know, these little warm, they're the little fairy lights. And like these particular ones have a, a remote control to them. I got these at Harbor Freight for about $7. And I'm going to try to run them around the bottom. I'll tape them in place. And then these agates here, I'm going to lay on the top and see if I can get enough light to come up through them. So, and then my, uh, the, the juniper candle lights will be in the center of it. But we, um, when we full-time RV'd for five years, uh, we spent a lot of winters at the coast. And so I have so many just small agates. And after a while, you know, you think, what do you do with all of them? I've kept them in jars and put water in there and they're pretty. Um, but you really want to be able to get that light through them. So I'm going to see if this works. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, make sure I get these right where I want them. I made sure that the lights work. There they are in the, the blinking mode. Okay, I'll turn them off. And I think I'm going to tape these in place so they don't move around when I put the rocks on. So after I just get so many loops around here, I'll kind of tape it down. I think once the rocks go on, it's going to look good. I think I'm going to have to tape it a little more often. Now this um, tray also has a slight lip on it, which will be nice for holding the rocks in. This is on, it's on a wire, which is kind of nice. You can twist these around about anything. So I'm not going to bore you while I go around, <laughs> around this whole, whole thing. It's going to take a while to get around it, to get in place. I want, you know, I want to have some lights in here. I want to have some here. So I'll kind of be able to control where they go. 
Okay, so I got this done. You know what's really nice, let me move this, kind of hold these. Um, you can see how I just wrapped and wrapped. That's 20 feet of the copper lights with 60 little lights on them. Um, and like I wanted to be sure I got in the nook and crannies there with lights. And so I just, I, you know, you can bend the wire, I'd shove it back in there, and then I kind of taped things into place. So I made sure the lights work. There it is on the twinkle mode. There's all different modes on here. I'm sure you can just do it solid. So now we'll start putting on, see if I can shut this off, we'll start putting on the agates. You know, some are bigger. You might want to place those kind of strategically. But for the most part, I'm just going to gently put these on here. Of course, making sure I don't break any lights. And I have plenty of agates, so I should be able to cover all of them, all of the, the wire. You know, rock counting is so much fun, but after a while, you, you, you get so many. And... Um, you know, trying to figure out, well, what do I want to do with them? <laughs> and especially with agates, you want to have light. That's kind of the whole purpose of agates, is being able to see that beautiful light through there. Now, you know, and I may be getting too many. I'll know that. I have to turn the lights out, which will make the camera probably not as good. But I may be getting too many on there. And some of these are black agates, too. So... Of course, they're not going to, well, actually, they have, they show great light through them. I've got some black agates that are just stunning. So, let me see if I turn the light on now if we can see anything. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm going to go turn the lights off, and we'll see how this looks. Oh, my gosh, I love this. Look at this, and I'll turn these on too. Like I said, you can use real um, candles in these logs if you want. Better to have the glass votive around them though. But look at that. That is so pretty. Oh, I'm glad I did this. Well, I hope that this uh, inspires you to just uh, try different ways of lighting up your agates. This is definitely gonna be a new favorite of mine. Um, Remember the copper lights, copper wire lights um, at Harbor Freight. This was 20 feet, uh, 60 lights on the, on the strand, on the copper wire. And it comes with the remote control, which is nice if you've got it in those, you know, kind of out of the way places. Now, if you wanted this for a night light, of course, you'd go through batteries like crazy. You probably could still do the Christmas lights that plug in and then just tape them down where they're laying more flat and then get your agates on there and they're also very bright so that could work as well okay now let's go down to the willamette river well it is a balmy like 60 degrees this morning really a nice day to be out here on the willamette river and look for agates. If I find any, I'll get this turned back on. Oh, I see one right here. It's rough, but it's a pretty good size. The river is really up uh, from the last time that we were down here, for sure. And well, let's see, it might be one. It's kind of buried under. That is. That's a pretty one. Not real big, but it's pretty. what else we can find here. Anyway, the river is um, up. Is that a little one? Very small. 
probably just because of the rains and things that we've had, they may be letting some water out some of the different dams. Of course, this area gets really, it's really pretty picked over this time of year. Uh, but, you know, as you can see, there's still rocks getting overlooked when you when you think about it. I mean, there. Oh, there's another one. Ooh, that's a nice size one. Rinse it off here. Yeah, that's not bad. I like that. It's got kind of a nice carnelian color to it. the sun went away for a while. I usually find some good jasper while I'm down here, but I haven't found any jasper yet today. Wind is coming up too. Isn't that beautiful? Great way to spend the morning. So I'm back here at the Jeep, and uh, this is the finds. We were here for less than an hour. So this wasn't too bad for this time of year. There's been so many um, people down at the river and agate picking, but you know, through the whole summer. And of course, this is kind of an area where they come and play in the water. And, and uh, so they're always digging around down here. Uh, spring is always one of the best times after the runoff and the rocks have been turned and churned around. Uh, and then early summer is still pretty good. This time of year, we don't expect to find too much. So I was happy to find these. Anyway, if you like this kind of thing and the other things that we do, I do a lot of different things on, on my channel. Um, be sure to consider subscribing. And until next time, we'll be keeping life simple.